Yeah, you lost four in a row. You're like I said, you were slipping. Yeah. Snacks, yeah, song, slippage has slipping, started. Slipping, slipping. Chicken chip hangover. Into the feeders. Shit's real. It's not good. I was really hoping for some big changes this week, and it's like standings. Yeah, I think I think that big changes are going to happen this week, like after this upcoming week of games. Well, yeah, we got a big matchup between you and I coming up. We'll get to that later in the show. Absolutely, fucking lutely. We're live. We're not live. We're recording, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You better not lose. Thanks. I mean, if you lose, you're you may be fucked. I won't be fucked. No, nah, you're not sure. fucked, but you're definitely gonna lose. I'm gonna Are be you, you sure you got oh uh, actually your points got up there. So yeah, you're, you're I have right. points. I just need yeah, to you got, need a win. You got points now, yeah. I need to win next two weeks. That's a big matchup between George and Jason, too. Dude, it's all big matchups. It's this is it. How many weeks do we have the official week count? I'm not we got three left, guy. including yeah. this. We got three left. So three. So three weeks before playoffs. Yeah. Three weeks before playoffs. We got two rounds of playoffs, weeks sixteen. And weeks 17 bring home the hardware. And I still think the league is so fucking completely up for grabs. Like one change playoff is, spots are up for grabs. The playoff spots are up for grabs. The teams are up for grabs. Like you look at one change is in first at eight and four, but like his RB2 right now is Boston Scott. He's got DeAndre Swift, who's now going to be out for multiple weeks. I did wide not really. get Jamal Williams, it correct? Did not, no. Yeah. Joe did. At wide receiver two, I mean, what does Metcalf do? He's like barely a football player anymore. His team's so, in shambles. That's what I mean. Every, I mean, whose isn't? You know, <laughs> like there's no, there's really no good teams <laughs> in fantasy football. I mean, here. Joe, Joe's quarterbacks are disgusting. Darrell, uh, Darrell Henderson's probably out. Yeah, it's not good. All right, so let's uh, let's look at me and Animals matchup. So, let's go to it. You you you're like really hurting this week. So so I took we, an uh, an unnecessary L last week that shouldn't have happened. That's what's really that's what the real problem is this week. Obviously, you know, uh, shouldn't have lost last week. Yeah, you lost to grit. Why did shouldn't you shouldn't have happened? Yeah, let's hear the let's hear the excuses. Well, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, please let me get some excuses out of the way. Well, Jalen hurts my QB one Ferrari. Fucking didn't even put up double digit points. And Teddy Bridgewater outscored him within like the first seven minutes of the game, so that was unfortunate. Oh, you shouldn't have played him against such a hot Giants defense. Yeah, and it makes it worse that this guy's a Giants fan sitting right next to me, and it was the Giants defense that stuffed him. So uh, that's unfortunate. And uh, darn Dan Arnold, Dan Arnold, you know, getting hurt, giving me one point really hurt too. Was, so that's it. Those are the only excuses. I don't want to care. I was, don't want to have too many. Was there? And besides the court, there was no bench things now. Well, Nick oh, Chubb, Van Jefferson, but Nick Chubb was a gross performance. Yeah, that was bad. That, you know, yeah. When Nick Chubb comes back into your lineup, you're obviously expecting a little bit more than uh, like even what, if, even if he gave, gave me eight if, points, if he, he gave you four, four or point nine, five, five oh. points. Yeah, if he gives I was, you, I was surprised you didn't throw. I was surprised you didn't get Van in your lineup, considering how fucking uh, how much you've been going off about Van for the last three weeks. I mean, I started him in another league, but I I did want to start him. What happened was we don't Dan talk Arnold about other fucking leagues, week. animal. We don't care about other leagues. Dan Arnold had such a bad week the week before, and then coming like you know bounce back week against Atlanta was too juicy, uh, and I mean it didn't work out because he's got an MCL injury. He's placed on the IR now, so no, that's fair. Like I would have probably played Dan Arnold too and fucking took the L. Uh, have we recapped the games? Because this was like an insane fucking ending. Like I know we no, talked we about it personally. Okay, so this this. This week, we had two games come down to literally like the last play and the last drives of the game, both my game versus lunch and one chains and uh, and George's game who are, you know, heavy hitters in the league. So me and Larry's game is like nuts going into the game. It's uh, he's got Heineke and I just have Washington defense. I think that's what the setup was. Yeah. Heineke versus Washington defense. And I was up, I want to say like 10 points. So if Heineke has like a normal 16, 17 point game, the defense is okay. Gets like six, seven points. It's going to be close as shit. The first half goes by and Heineke has basically nothing. And there was like this, this exchange at the end of the first half where it was like, we got a turnover and then Heineke turned it over. And that gave me such a boost going into the second half. But when it comes down to the last like four minutes of any fantasy game or any NFL game, shit gets crazy. Cause I feel like half, half of fucking players, fantasy points literally happen in like the last two to four minutes of a game. So we're going down the last drive. And I think I'm up by, I think I'm up by three points and Heineke has the ball. He scores that touchdown to Logan Thomas and I would have been down by one. I would have lost the game. They ended up reversing that call on the goal line where the ball like slipped under his hand. So they reversed that call. I'm still up by 
three points. So if uh, Seattle goes down and scores, because I've watched it in defense, like if Seattle goes down, scores, goes to OT, like going down and scoring was insane to begin with because like it was 97 yards and their offense hadn't done a fucking thing uh, to begin with. They end up scoring the touchdown. They go for two. If they completed that two-point conversion, I end up losing that game as well because they go to OT, more points are scored, or Taylor Heineke scores a couple points or whatever. Um, none of that fucking broke right. So for the fourth time in a row against Larry, I beat him on a last play Monday night football game. Like it just, ins- me and him have just crazy text messages. Did you guys become like the, uh, the best rivalry now? Maybe me and him, me and him like chirp each other the entire game just through text though. We don't do it in the group chat. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It brings, it's a little more sentimental that way. It's always yeah. Monday night. Every single Got time. It's like the last, Monday the night. last play too. It's the last play. And, 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 and on that, like one chains and George had an insane game. They were, uh, one change was up, I think, 10 this, or 11. This is my, this fa- this is my favorite this one. This so yeah. much more ridiculous because of who it is. Yeah, like he's he's up, uh, I think, 10 or 11 points going into Monday Night Football. It's straight up just Metcalf versus Lockett. And you're like, there's no way Lockett just straight up outscores him by 11. He does that and comes down to the last fucking drive of the game. Metcalf doesn't have a catch in the game. Gets that 12-yard catch at the end, puts him up, uh, puts him up, you know, one point or some shit, and somehow that holds. That was that was just such an insane, insane game because one chance had to have been like, yeah, I feel amazing. That's a sweat right there. You're waiting the entire game for DK Metcalf and to was catch it, one fucking ball. Was it the last drive he caught it? Yeah, I think it was the last. I, like, I really, I really didn't watch. I really maybe. wasn't watching the game, and then it might have been sudden, like the last drive before Washington's last drive. And yeah. Then they okay. Got yeah. Back it, so then they had that whole last drive for for Lockett to even oh, do anything. That's what it set up. Yeah, that's what it was because he and it's Metcalf nothing. had that catch on the second to last drive. So yeah. then we're set up for like a tie ball game going down the field on the last last drive. I don't think either of those guys caught a ball. How did they, they go ninety five yards and neither of them caught a ball? Not one. <laughs> that makes no fucking sense. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what it is. Russ Russ Wilson sucks. Yeah, yeah he's he's, that whole that whole team he's is gotta, terrible. He's got to just bench himself for the year or something. Something's wrong. He's uh he's still hurt or he just sucks. He is uh he's not going to be a Seahawk for much longer. No, he's, he's not. A giant. I don't want him. So you can it's have the big rumor. I'll take him. He's all yours. You I'll don't want him. him. No, fuck him. You know what it is? It's a personal thing because he beat us in the Super Bowl. So like I can never root for him to win a Super Bowl in our uniform. All right. Would you rather? Would you rather Teddy Bridgewater or Russell Wilson? All right. Well, that's a that. stupid question. Well, you phrase it like that. I mean, you said you don't want him. I don't want him. I don't want. I'd rather fucking Taylor Heineke than Russell Wilson. Taylor Heineke's a beast. I know, dude. I like him. Looks good. <laughs> <He's a ball laughs> player. He, he keeps getting more and more sucks, confident bro. each week. Taylor Heineke sucks. He's a beast, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. Dan or, Dan Orlovsky this morning called him Tony Romo light, and I almost no. I was like, stop, dude. Heineke's played so many bad games, and there was like one this one televised game. Where he played against the worst defense in the NFL and looked like good, like most of his fucking throws are air mails, like absolutely shit. But Heineke, the, outside of Terry McLaurin, who's he throwing to? Nobody, because he doesn't fuck. He's not accurate. He doesn't matter who's fucking throwing. To. He didn't even have that good of a game. He didn't. He's no, not he's good. He's a fancy quarterback for the most part. Yeah, he's all right. <laughs> yeah. he's all right. All right. So those were the crazy matchups of of last week. So I t- I, I somehow took a dub. I'm on a two game winning streak, and I moved down <laughs> in the standings <laughs> <Yes. laughs> from six to seven. But you know everybody won, and now it's now things are super fucking tight. So if I if I beat Animal this week, I will yeah, let's get into the matchup. Big yeah. matchup. Let's get into the matchup. Um, first thing that stands out to me is you are absolutely fucked plugging holes in your ship with band-aids right now it's a tough it's a tough week when it comes to uh to the buys to be fair yeah you got rogers out nick chubb out uh dj moore out so you're you're not working with a lot here yeah it's kind of uh it's kind of hurting me this week i'm gonna really rely on like i'm gonna try and make some more moves obviously before the uh before sunday you need a you need a you need a vintage 30 point game from hertz off the rip yeah. Well, he's got the Jets. He's got so the I Jets. Got, that's like what I'm saying. That's why I'm. That's why I started with him. Yes. You got to hope that Singletary maybe finds the end zone because I think he that's... could because he hasn't in forever. Yeah, but that's yeah. that's because he's bad, not because he's due. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. The other yeah, thing with you have scratch from you're uh, like Zach Moss tonight. Tonight's gonna tell a big story. What Zeke does. Yes. I think Matt Breda is gonna be like more involved in Singletary though. Unfortunately. Um, yeah, he might. Yeah, Zeke is the Zeke is such a fucking key to this because I mean you can't feel good about Zeke right now. You know they're saying he's full, but like yeah. I think you know well, they got all their weapons back. Yeah. Saints are good. Zeke's banged up. They got all their weapons. Like I I don't know. Maybe he finds the end zone, gets lucky, and finds it like I'm twice. I'm hoping back. for the goal line work. Yeah, 
I we'll guess see. my my outlook here is like how how do I spin this? All right, let's see if Tony Pollard gets the chunk work, but they still bring in Zeke for the goal line. Yeah, I think that's probably what happens because they were saying they were talking about sitting him, and then Jerry Jones, no, he's a, he's a full go. Like, come on, yeah, you well, don't have I a lot mean, of what's he going to say? But you don't have a lot of ceiling players. Um, I think Jamar Chase is probably due, but that's a tough matchup against LA. How do you feel about Chase? I feel like he's. I never worry about him because he's literally going to give me like his five six points, or he's going to go off. So, like, obviously, I'm not going to not start him. He's always got the upside to catch a 60-yard touchdown, so I have to start him every week. He yeah. hasn't gone off in a month. So I know. He he's definitely he's do. Slow, he's slowed down, for sure. That's because but, um, what they're doing is giving it to – I mean, it could happen again because Mixon's had, like, 70 carries over the last two yeah. weeks, and yeah. L.A. is, like, such a run-funnel defense. T. Higgins had his week last week, so – that's what I mean. Like, it's not just the chase show anymore. They're like really, really, they love Joe fucking Mixon. It's insane. Yeah. That's just, uh, that offense is humming. And I mean, his targets, like last week, he, you know, he only had three targets, but he went three for three. For the most part, his targets haven't really come down. He's still getting, you know, like he had a 10, 9, 13, 6. Now he's got three last week. So maybe this week we see that uptick again. Yeah. I, I think what's working in my favor too, outside of like just having a much better team right now than you, given your buys. Uh, my like shitty wide receiver and flex spots, which were normally tough for me, like Ayuk in the two has been really good and Debo's out. And then like Darnell Mooney has been amazing and Allen Robinson is missing practice again. So he's probably out again. So like you compile those. I picked up Cole Command. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have two Chicago Bears offensive players going. So oh, that's boy. like, that's well, not good. Cole Command's questionable from, from, from the NFL and my lineup. So. Yeah, I don't know. My this is probably the most confident week I've had in in my starting roster. Yeah, I have to get a new defense too because the Patriots are on a buy, so I have to still have a fill. The Patriots there. are not on a buy. What am I looking at here? They're playing they're Buffalo. Week fourteen. They're playing at they they might as well yeah. be on a buy. They're at Buffalo. Yeah. Um, I might want to think about next. What's going on with Daniel Jones? Is he going to play or not? Uh, it, on, it's the million dollar question right now because it ain't that important. Two, two, Tuesday night, Tuesday night. It's like yo, he might be done for the year. Joe what? Judge, Joe Judge comes out yesterday and goes, "No, he's probably playing." <laughs> so it's, I have no idea what's going on. None. Who's your backup? Fucking the giraffe, Mike Glennon. Oh, dude. That's... Well, I, I'm, I'm, I have Miami defense, and I'm like actually super confident in them. Regardless, they've been so good over the last like month of the season. Yeah, they, I, they've been very good. They're like yeah. the defense that we thought they were going to be in the beginning of the year. They're getting so much pressure on quarterbacks. So, like, honestly, even if DJ is under under center, that's it's probably not going to matter. Yeah, it's probably two play, strip sacks. You, right you, there. you, pl you play them anyway. They're they're starting to blitz like crazy, and that giant sieve of an offensive line got there no is, chance. This is the part of the year too where I suggest people that like watch this afterwards. I, I like to stack multiple defenses. So Miami is a team I'm going to hold on to. They play the Giants this week. They have a bye, but then after that, they have another home game against the Jets the week after. So like Miami is going to end up taking a bench spot for me for the foreseeable future. And I, I do suggest if you're in a league right now and you have you know shit guys on your bench, like look to next week, see if there's any good streaming defenses. And I, I don't give a fuck. I'll hold like two. I'll, sometimes I'll hold three if I have enough bench spots. Honestly. Yeah, I'm probably going to hold on to the Patriots for now. I, they, they play Jacksonville week 17. So yeah. is that our championship week now? 17, is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, right? Yep. So that's a good one to hold on to. Um, but, yeah, I'm not feeling too great about this week. To sum it up from, from my standpoint here, I'm not feeling too confident. Uh, I got a lot of holes to fill. So Hey, you never know. Well, yeah, that's what it's fantasy football. You can never, never, you never count out these random guys. I'll plug in like a fucking, you know, James and Crowder and get like 19 points or something. Yeah, we'll this will be like or, a, it's 19 or, or zero. We'll for, figure it out. You. Not worried about it. What do you probably, got going on for your show? Ah, it doesn't matter. Me and Shane, the battle of five and seven, eight and nine. Are you officially mathematically out? I mean, obviously not, not right? Dude, no, no one's officially mathematically out except, except for Eric. Eric. Yeah. All right, so let's figure out what's going on here. You have a chance. So snack. Well, I mean, I, I'm looking yeah. at the matchup. I love it. But you look good. It's I've I've liked my last three match. Well, except the one against Nick. I've yeah, liked next four game four game L streak right now is shot you down the fucking rankings bro yeah you know what i just i just keep going back to draft night and drunkenly taking my guy and not john and taylor and then aaron jones getting hurt and who knows when he get when he gets back it's gonna be shared anyway because aj Dillon looks like an absolute beast yeah that's, so, a, that's a committee for sure dude still on paper though you know what it is i think you're uh, i don't know i don't even know what it is you're like on paper your team is still really fucking strong i know it's it's just it's not well, making the problem sense is you got guys like russell wilson who's stinking who's, who's stopping yeah who's yeah. killing him Last yeah, week, I, yeah i had a super game, flex but... league where i drafted uh the nyc league i drafted like russell wilson in the third brian Tannehill in the fifth and i'm like there you go like i'm set at super flex for the year and they're like both right. outside of the top 25 right so, mike evans i'm looking it says he's wide receiver 10 he, he does not feel like wide receiver 10 to me 
It's just every fucking week, it seems like it's... I mean, he had some couple, like, three-point games for the most part. Everything no, he's been, he's, been, he's, been all, he's been all right, yeah. And, like, obviously, Cup is... He's like a he's like a team guy. He gives you, like, 16, 17, yeah, I know. you know? I know, I know. He doesn't give you the 28 that you want. I was getting good numbers no, from... I was getting good numbers yeah. from your boy Noah Fant early, and then he kind of fell off. So that's well, kind of... As soon as Jerry, Jerry Judy came back, he, like, ruined the entire offense. Yeah, he wise. did. But... But speaking of that offense, Melvin Gordon, they said, is 50-50 for this game, which could have huge implications for uh, – I know you're not playing Steen, but Steen's team, who's been fucking red hot until one chains put out the match last week. But uh, he's got Javante Williams. And if Melvin Gordon's out, Javante Williams plays like the workhorse role, there's no way he's giving that up when Gordon comes no, back. No, no. Finally gets his time to shine. Yeah, yeah. he's going to go nuts. He's going to go for over 100 yards. It's crazy. Yeah. We, we've been we've been counting on Steen's demise for all year. and. Well, here's I mean, the thing. Here's the thing. His team doesn't look half bad right now. Well, here's the thing. He plays. He plays. Uh, he played Steve last week. He lost, and he's still. Is he still completely in last? Yeah, he's still last place in points in our yeah. league. So he's playing a tough, a tough game against Jason. Like if he takes an L there, uh, then I play him next week. Like he could, he could definitely slip outside of playoff contention oh, easily. I, I, I mean, if you're gonna, if you, if you're telling me, tell, saying the handicap right now, I would say he doesn't make it. Yeah, because he just doesn't have the points to back it up. Like I think Larry will eventually, I think Larry will eventually take one of those spots because he's got a command lead in in points. Yeah, Larry's team is good. Yeah, I just need to get another win somewhere. Fuck. You played me last week of the year. Oh my god, am I gonna knock you out? I play your boy Jason next week. Who's oh, playing. you're fucked. You're playing the family. Playing, so yeah, oh, this is it. dude, what a, what a last good week. We need to do something because I play one chains and you guys play each other week 15. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. We should have like a stream or something. Could mean every. Could mean every. The Giants play that week? Yeah, they do. Dude, right? Joe versus lunch. And then, oh, man, what a fucking game. It's going to yeah, be see, good. I told you. I'm going to win out and make the four spot and then win it all again. <laughs> Stop. You're getting ahead <laughs> of yourself. I, would I said it last year. It happened. I know. But, but then yeah. again, I was in seventh place, not eighth. Last so year was believable, stuff. though. This year, I don't think it is. No. Nah. Yeah, you also. Let's not talk about last year. It's fantasy football. It's tough for luck. you. Some fraud. some say that whole luck. year was a fraud. That whole year should have an asterisk well, next to it because of the okay. COVID well, I saw bullshit fucking lineup. I started twenty five fucking roster spots. And- it's not luck when you start Alvin Kamara in the championship week and he puts up fifty six. That's not luck. That's called skill. Dude, I started Alvin Kamara in the championship week. He put up fifty six, and I still lost. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of those people that had Kamara. <laughs> Championship week last year. And it's lost. so funny. I only want. I only beat Shane by like eleven. <laughs> I would have got killed if he has like a normal game. I got blown out. Yeah, well, that's. <laughs> I mean, but that's almost believable. But yeah. still, at the end of the year, like the only fucking things that mattered was snacks owning Jonathan Taylor and Alvin Kamara. Like when it came down, that was to it. it. Yeah, waiver wire. Chubb, 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 Kamara, and Taylor. Yeah, the waiver wire didn't matter. Like James Robinson was cool, and uh, and Cordell Patterson's absolutely fucking goaded. So I can't. I can't yeah. thank Shane enough for giving me that. Although Antonio Gibson has looked great. He's looked really fucking good. He looked great on Monday night. Yeah, he had a good game, but that was Seahawks like terrible, terrible uh, run defense. So. I agree. I'm I'm here for like a really disappointing game. But he, he had a lot of big chunk runs that McKissick like, might be out we'll though. See. McKissick yeah, we'll be out. See. Yeah, um, I thought he was dead. All right. Any I, saw, other, I saw that replay on ESPN. Any that other day? key matchups this Yeah, week? there's another big one. Is there? Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Um, Joe and Steve, one versus two. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So Steve got him. Matchup. Steve's twenty three points ahead at eight and four, and Joe's seven and or eight and yeah, eight and four. Joe's seven and five. Uh oh my God, Justin Fields at the helm, and like, is he even starting? He doesn't have a second quarter. Oh yeah. Well, he doesn't have. He has Jamal Williams over Big Ben and Matt Ryan. That's actually honestly though. No, relax. I don't know. <laughs> Relax. Matt Ryan. Well, I, I would fine. play Matt Ryan over. Yeah, him. Matt Ryan will put up eighteen. Uh, he's going to have Williams, to because Henderson's going to be ruled out, and he's going to have to play Williams in Henderson's spot, and then. Well, he could play Sony. Mich- he's got Sony Michelle, so he could play. Oh, Sony. he does have Sony Michelle, right? Yeah, there. I would play Sony over Jamal if uh, Darrell Henderson's out. Yeah. Steve's playing two tight ends. He's got Ertz and Kelsey. He has Boston Scott. Yeah, he's so lucky. He's got fucking Elijah Mitchell, man. Otherwise, he'd be dead at running back. They're both playing two tight ends. Yeah. I had to play three tight ends in one of my leagues last week. Didn't uh, <laughs> didn't turn out well. Damn, Steve's team really may uh, just collapse and burn. That'll Maybe. be good to see. I need I need someone above me to start collapsing so I can have like a chance going into it. 
Because we're all very close in points. I think Steve's. Yeah, I don't know why you're so like you're so obsessed with like the top teams losing when it's all about getting in the fucking dance, dude. Well, I just need to win this week. I don't see it. Yeah, not gonna happen though. Yeah, I don't. I'm not looking. It's not looking good. I'll admit it. Wait, what's what's the? I'm not uh, confident. What's the win streak you need to be at to get flames three? I don't fucking Uh, know. Is it like a turkey and bowling? It's got to be three. (laughs) It might be three. I'm not sure. I think it is. I want those fucking. I feel like four is a little obnoxious. Three is like the perfect spot. I want. I want those fucking flames, animal. And then what's the um situation with Chase Claypool? By the way, because he's on the waiver wire. I almost picked him up. What? I mean, he goes. I dropped him like three weeks ago. Yeah. As soon as he had the turf toe, I'm like, I'm not dealing with this shit. I mean, he's just been like every shitty fucking. He just goes like three for 85 or three for 22. Like never has ceiling games. Never does. This offense is so bad. Like Big Ben just doesn't throw the ball down the field. I'm going to pick him up now. No, I don't don't pick him up. I don't want him. My my receivers aren't my problem. Pick him up and I'll fucking Trojan horse you like I did Larry with Devonta Freeman last week. Everything else is my problem. Uh, See what? Oh wow, Eric! This is this is big right here for Eric. And what? So way? Eric is playing. I'm sorry, I'm like jumped to Eric and Larry's matchup. Eric's got Mark Ingram, and he should absolutely throw him in over Melvin Gordon. Well, yeah, I think Eric checks his lineup once a week, and it's like on Saturday. So if he's got Thursday night problems, <laughs> then that's that. Then those problems have happened already. Yeah, <laughs> and he doesn't actually have to deal with them anymore. <laughs> They're no longer problems. <laughs> yeah, Snacks, you're going to go ahead and uh, text them? Let them know to put someone in the lineup? I can do it right now. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. Well, have- don't you want Larry to lose? He's ahead of you. I yeah. do, yeah. I don't care. Whatever. Look, this is legal. It's just frowned upon. I'm not, yeah. not going to do it. No, do it. It's, it's fine. It's legal. It's just frowned upon. Just one, It's one of those, you know, catch 22s, right? Is that the right phrase? Mm-hmm. Something like that. <laughs> you know, darned if you do, darned if you don't. Is that another one? I don't even know if I have Eric's number. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Is that it? Put it in the group chat. Not a big uh, phrase guy. I should. I think that's something that that happens when you get older, though. What you learn phrases? Well, yeah, but then you just like say them more too. It's like a you know, it's like a second nature type of thing. Yeah. Uh, I gotta get some more. Maybe I'll get a book. So there's a book. You know how to phrases. Book of phrases. I I'm just I have an Eric in my phone. I'm just gonna text it. I hope it's him. How you guys feel about Taysom tonight? Nah. Um, I'm just so like. Should I play him over Tyra the... or uh, Tua? Uh, no, I'd probably play Tua. Yeah, but like, I'm not asking you because I'm playing against you. So whoever you said, you probably don't want me to play. Oh no, shit! Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, no, play Taysom. Wait, how do I get you to play Taysom? <laughs> 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 um, I'm just so sick of that whole like Saints quarterback situation. So. Well, yeah. it should have been. It never should have started that. Well, well I guess Simeon, Simeon played all right. Yeah, I, feel like Taysom, right. I mean, Taysom might have like 17 rush attempts tonight, though, with Kamara yeah, out. I agree with that. I agree with that. And he's definitely probably going to score a touchdown like rushing. Oh, touchdown. He's without a doubt, going to score. Just... I'll, I'll probably bet that 210. That's probably what those are. I kind of, two has been good, though, and they're playing against the Giants. Yeah. Which I, is, what does I, that mean? They're vulnerable. Did you see their last few games? No, I'd never watched the Giants. Yeah, oh, you didn't see them only allow six points to Jalen Hurts? I mean, that's Jalen that's QB1. He, like, literally doesn't do well for three quarters. He's like the Tim Tebow of fucking the NFL right now. Yeah, you play four quarters. He was terrible all four. He literally plays for three quarters, like, shit, and then the fourth quarter he has, like, a couple good throws and runs, and the Eagles win by, like, two every week. I think Mahomes only had 12. Brady, 14. We're coming for that ass, Tua. Brady had, like, 25. What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> <You're just making laughs> <shit up. laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe I'll start Taysom Hill then. Uh, yeah, I think you, you know. If do you have anyone well, else going tonight? It's always good to spice it up, you know. Oh, oh is it? <laughs> spice up your Thursday night life, dude. I, I'm actually. I'm I got I plan, for the chat I got plans then. tonight. I'm not even watching the fucking game. I have Fuck a question you. for the comments, uh, people. The people that will comment in the comment section. Uh, do you sometimes feel like you force yourself to play players on Thursday night just to get a little action going? So I feel like sometimes I do do that. Opposite. You know, where Opposite. I'll be like, I don't really want to start this guy, but like, it gives me a little action. Um, it's a good question. I'm usually the opposite. I would rather not have anybody play. I agree. But just because like you have no one going, you have that choice. Yeah, I get it. 
It entices and if it's, you. If it's close between one guy that plays on Sunday or a guy that plays on Thursday. Yeah, yeah it's the I get gambler it. I get in me. It. You know, that just wants to, like, roll the dice on Thursday. See this guy. See what, yeah, I understand. Spice up the night. Because I don't care about the fucking game. You know? Yeah. My team's not in it. doesn't really. Like, fuck the Cowboys and the Saints. Need the Cowboys to win tonight. All right. You want the Cowboys to win tonight? I do, yeah. I know. It's crazy, isn't it? I won't say it publicly, but I um, guess I just did. Kind of did. Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, but it's over at that point. So, speaking of, how about that cease and desist letter we uh we got or cease and desist DM from from the other fate, the public? Yeah, pull it up. Let's see. We can send it to Ike probably. Yeah, we'll send it to Ike. Did you respond to it? Yeah. What'd you say? Fuck you. I said. uh we're not, I said, uh, we operate under BDGE and we couldn't have knowledge of our page uh, taking yours because ours was created first. <laughs> if, you look, if you look if you look at Twitter, if you look at both Twitter accounts, ours was created first. Well, that's yeah, pretty, so that's uh, it. That's, that's, that's all you need. Shut case there for me. Hi, I'm reaching out to make you aware that we own the rights to Fade the Public and Fade the Public LLC. It is to my knowledge you've been using Fade the Public as your business and podcast name, which is in violation of our DBA. I'm <laughs> going to assume you did not have knowledge of this before creating your page. So before going to a higher authority, I wanted to reach out to you first. Thank you. Have a Hope you have a great night. Our business <laughs> operates under BDGE, and we couldn't have had knowledge of our page superseding yours as we created ours first. Yeah. You can so also send them a link for the people to report us. Help them out. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure they had no response, right? No, they didn't answer back. Yeah. I give them credit. They're filing the paper. Good effort. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good it's a good effort. They do, have, credit. they do have a lot of followers on Twitter though. How many they have? With twenty five thousand. Holy shit. Feels like kind of fake though, because like most of their tweets get like three likes. Yeah, well, that's when you they know. They probably bought an account that fucking had Yeah, they probably bought the account and probably um honestly they're if you look at their banner it's it's almost like identical to ours <laughs> except for well it's it's like when we have fade the public in red like just lit, written across like the supreme they have it just in black but not not the supreme lettering just like a random their name block. on twitter is fade the public now nah, their name on twitter is uh ftp handicapping yeah they're gambling lifetime prob profitability and 100 percent transparency but you can't see it unless you pay for it yeah. Oh, yeah. They have a trademark. And everything. Transparent. I'm going to send them money. Hold on. You can send them money. Why? For what? I'm going to give them a dollar. Why? I'm going to suck my balls. <laughs> you leave a message with a dollar? Oh, I don't know. So I feel like sending someone a dollar, not really like, it's not like a suck my balls type of gesture. 40, 21, and two, their last 63 plays. Yeah. Okay. I want to see some documentation 40, on that. 21 and two. They were 0 and 2 last night. These guys suck. No, no, no shot. Wait, you said they were 40, 21, 40, 21 and two in their last 63 plays, which is very good, but I don't believe it. There's no documentation. I'm I'm better than them. Probably. Yeah, probably. But they're, they're doing college basketball, NBA, all these things. I would like to mention, by the way, bagels and locks. I am 24 and 13 or 14. It's fucking really good. Which is really good. And my underdog outright picks on the Sunday morning show. What'd you hit? I hit last week on the Packers. I'm sorry. That's, that's like, I was like, Plus 115. But still, it's it's no, nah, I get it's it. An underdog outright and the hit, the bad hit. The bad hit. Like eight and four on the year on outrights. Most of them have been over plus 180. Well, that's why I said that was like yeah. there's a cheap one. Yeah. Well, last week I did say too, I did also say you should you should take the Broncos also. But my official pick was the Packers. Fuck I did dude. give out the Broncos as an underdog. These outright. guys betting hockey and shit. <laughs> betting suck. Dude, get the fuck out of nah, here. Nah, they're frauds. Fuck them. We're the real fade of the public. Fuck Don't worry them. about it. Uh, dude, underdog had, on Tuesday, underdog had Zeke at 61 and a half rushing yards. I hit the under on, and now it's down to 47 and a half. Well, Oof. yeah, he's super, like, questionable this week. Yeah, but, like, they shouldn't have had him that high to begin with. Oh, well, you can always find some good deals on underdog. There's always some go. I got. I took the Dan Arnold over. The piece last of week. shit. You told me. To, <laughs> then you told me to take Melvin Gordon when Javante Williams was the player. Melvin Gordon hit. <laughs> oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, okay. He crushed it. I have no idea. I watched no football outside of Melvin John Gordon. King. Crushed it. Which, by the way, I was something. You should have came. No, I'm good. Oh, it was one big. I think there was a hundred people. There. It was insane. The, it was uh, actually the, awful. The tailgate. tailgate. Oh yeah, no, that sounds terrible. That was a great time. Great time. I had a blast. And a win. And a win, yeah. And a win. Oh, I got uh, free Knicks tickets. Oh, any, for real? Uh, sweet tickets. Any game I want. Yeah, Are you serious? Cool. From who? Yep. 
because uh, MSG because they fucked with me last game. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't tell you, I didn't tell you guys this story, oh, did story I? Story time. All right. Hell yeah. Let me lean back. So, me uh, I, I mean, sweet. T- I can't pick the Warriors or Nets. Those are the only two games I can't pick. Understandable. It's understandable. Yeah. So I went to the Knicks Lakers game last week, and uh, and I was you know I was screaming at LeBron who was not even in the building. <laughs> um, and the Knicks went off to a tour. I don't know if you're watching the game, Max. They got off to a torrid start. They were up like 18 in the first, and I'm going nuts. Said a few curse words and whatnot. Security guard comes up to me in the first. Goes, listen. He pulls me off to the side. He pulls me up. Goes, listen. I got. You got to relax. You got to. You know, no, no swearing. You could, you could scream. I'm like, I paid. I don't remember how much I said, but I definitely over exaggerated a little bit. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scream and yell. He goes, That's fine. Just no cursing. I'm like, All right, I could do that. Hmm. Which, to my credit, I did. Second, third quarter, didn't say a word. Fourth quarter, the game gets tight. Emmanuel quickly hits a corner three. I stood up. I was like, yeah. And I went like this. Security guard, I see him, or I see him bolting down the stairs or bolting down the stairs. You come here. I'm like, what did I do? He's like, I told you to calm down. I was like, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? I didn't curse. That was the first time I really screamed. He goes, I don't care. I'm not having it. So he puts me like on the other side of the arena, away from the three guys I went with, the spot I couldn't see. So Wait, next hold, morning, hold, I hold up, up, hold up. He made, he just took you and was like, go sit over there. He put me in timeout, essentially. Yeah, Yeah. it was standing room only. I couldn't see anything. So I call up MSG the next day, bitching and moaning. Lady was very nice. I tried to get her number, but she wouldn't give it to me. She sounded really (laughs) cute over the phone. She wouldn't give it to me. But so I was bitching and moaning. She goes, we're going to, we're going to resolve this. I get a call from her the next day. She goes, um, we'd like to, we'd like to accommodate you and three friends to any game you want in the suite, in the suite, all you can eat, all inclusive. I was like, fuck yeah, I invited. Thank you. I was like, that was well worth it. Thank you. So, I got. Am I, am I, I one gotta, of those three people? Which game I'm going to go to? That's pretty sweet. Yeah. 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 Stop ignoring my fucking question. I'm sorry. It's hard it, to it's hear hard you to over hear you here. You're on the laptop. Oh, I was just asking if I'm one of those three people. I'm going to think about it. Maybe both of you guys are one of those people. Could be a good vlog, you know. Just but can animal you know, crushing uh, buffet uh, food in the uh, also could be a disgusting one. Nick's lounge. Yeah. There's yeah. got to be a cease and desist for a, 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 a grotesquely eating on camera. I disagree. I think it's a fan favorite. I think many people look forward. I to really it. want once they said we're, we're not going to allow Brooklyn or Golden State. I was like, damn, it makes sense. Though, it does. I, it get does. so much money. No, I know those, those, those tickets are going to be ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, I understood. That's I get like a cool, Bulls though. or something. Like I was that. gonna, I was gonna pick the Bulls tonight, but it was like too, short, too short notice, notice, and I have a lot yeah. to do tonight. So no, I don't How rush do and save it. What are you doing tonight? I gotta finish some work stuff. A big, big day tomorrow. Oh, sorry, you're editing this video. Forgot. Sure. Grizzly Adams had a beard. Grizzly Adams did have a beard. He did, did have a beard. Yeah. Animal? <clears throat> oh, I got nothing. <laughs> I've got like nothing. That's, uh, I'm out of ammo. I feel like that's pretty much it. That was a good yeah, story. Yeah, good story good time. Good story to end it on. Uh, thank uh, uh, full for that, that piece yeah, of I'm shit. surprised I didn't Security tell you. Security guard. It, yeah, it paid off in the end. No, it did. I'm, I'm yeah. Honestly, I'm grateful for him. Guys I got his name them. and everything. I wrote it down. Yeah. I know. just assume, like, more often than not, your sporting event trips are like that. Yeah, but they usually don't turn out with such great yeah, amenities usually afterwards. Gets, usually just gets thrown out. Yeah. It doesn't get, yeah, doesn't get a reward after. You Which, by the, way, the- by the way, my security guard at the Giants game, like my section, she says I could do whatever I want. She I, won't do it. I mean, she's known you for a while now, right? Probably. Yeah, the whole year. She loves me. She was, she was having everybody take pictures of us. I think I put it on Instagram. I don't know if you guys saw it. Uh, I don't know. I, uh, oh yeah, I do actually. I remember that. I yeah. remember looking at your face and being like, "Jesus Christ!" Yeah. Oh, it was it was a fucking banger of a I, day. I like, never go on Instagram. I posted actually a video from a clip from Bagels and Locks. Yeah. Because uh, I thought it was funny. It was just like me taking the Texans and like being it like the biggest lock, and then they fucking lost. Like, <laughs> and they so lost. Was right. even close. It's all right. I, 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 well, you put I, that on I, the I took the, I, I took the Steelers. They only lost by thirty. So I never post anything. Yeah, Animal, your personal Instagram is fucking hilarious. <laughs> like just back to back, fucking. The last pic, yeah, January are you with the fucking thumbnails in your eyes? Yeah, <laughs> I'm going for fucking three this year. Uh, yeah, three posts in three years. It's great. It's fucking sharpest. I know. I have a fun. strategy for this week, by the way. I'm oh. gonna, I'm gonna get on camera. I'm flipping a coin. I love it. And that's all. That, that's those gonna be my picks. Whatever yeah. you've been doing. Well, worked, I got so. fucking screwed last week. I was pissed. The Leonard Fournette scoring that touchdown. They, they were gonna go down, and just kick a field goal, and I was gonna cover that one. <laughs> And then, the, and then the Seahawks not getting like just uh, the, the Redskins would know. Oh, sorry, 
The football team. Whoa. Oh, sorry. The football team You're with done. no kicker having to go with two screws the plus one. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Fuck that, too. Fuck that shit. Oh, uh, it's just it. I just got screwed no, every which Leonard way. Is Leonard the best fucking running back in the league right now? That's because I was playing against him last week. Not like it mattered, but. It's really annoying yeah, watching him have these fucking insane games. Why? Because you're a Rojo fan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am. So it's unfortunate, but good for Uncle Lenny. I'm actually like somewhat happy for he, him. He, like, he looks really good. He does. He looks really good. I guess it's just like a Tom Brady thing. Like you play with Tom Brady, he just like fixes you. It's crazy. Hey, listen, Len. Here's what's happening. He like sits him down. They watch some tape, and then boom, Lenny's a fucking. I'm hoping he wins the Super Bowl. Bowl I'm hoping back. he wins the Super Bowl this year. Ass out, and it's like, all right, Giants, you beat me twice. Let's go win one together. <laughs> yeah, no. <it's> <laughs> <best>. <laughs> I love uh, that. No, who would you rather have man. next? All right, who would you rather have like next year, Russ or Tom Brady? Brady. Brady. Even for one year, like knowing that he's not in. Well, give me one. Give me one year. I'll take my chance. No, no, like, like both of them are free agents, and you know the situation for both of them. Yeah, and you know, Russ, you're probably getting three years. Brady, I mean, Brady might get six years. (laughs) I'll I'll take fifteen games. If you if you told me you you can get Russ for three years or Brady for one, I'll take my chances for one. Yeah, agreed. Hundred percent. Fuck that. I I would. I don't even care who the offensive line or receivers are. I take my chances. Fixes it. I'll take Matt Ryan for five. That. On that note. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you all for hanging out today. Um, thank you, Mr. Ike, for the edits. Hit the thumbs quick, up. Quick edits. Yeah. If the, Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We cover this uh, this league in depth every single week. Uh, and that's it. Bagels and Locks Sunday. Are you guys on Sunday morning? Sunday morning. Sunday morning right now, yeah. Sunday morning. If you want to lose some money. Love you all.